In this video, we are going to find all the symmetry elements in the tetrahedral point group. There are fewer symmetry elements in the tetrahedral point group than in the octahedral point group, but they tend to be harder to find. Here is the complete list of symmetry elements we are looking for. Let's start with the easiest, the 8C3 axes. More accurately, these are actually 4 C3-1 axes and 4 C3-2 axes. The easiest way to find these is to place the model of your tetrahedral molecule on a surface. Just like for the octahedral molecule, it sits on a tripod of atoms. If you look straight down at it from above, you are looking down one of the C3 axes. A rotation by 120 degrees leaves the molecule apparently unchanged. Look straight down each of the four bonds in this way and you'll have found the four unique C3 axes that serve as both C3-1 and C3-2 axes. But I want to show you this in a slightly more complex way as well. Let's position the tetrahedral molecule inside a cube the same way we did with the octahedral molecule. Notice that atoms occupy four of the eight corners of the cube. In this orientation, the C3 axes run the body diagonal of the cube. Now, let's find the three C2 axes. With the molecule positioned in a cube in this way, the C2 axes run through the face centers of the cube. A 180 degree rotation leaves the molecule apparently unchanged. Now, Let's look at the six S4 axes. Remember that these are in fact three S41 axes and three S43 axes. These occupy the same positions as the three C2 axes. Let's select one of them and look at it in more detail. First, we rotate the molecule by 90 degrees. I'm leaving a green ghost molecule behind to keep track of the molecule's original position. Now, let's place a mirror plane perpendicular to the rotation. Reflecting this molecule in this mirror plane puts it back in its original position, leaving it apparently unchanged. There is one last set of symmetry elements for us to find. These are the six dihedral mirror planes. All the mirror planes in the tetrahedral point group are called dihedral. They bisect two of the ligand atoms reflecting them into themselves, and they relate the other two ligand atoms to one another by reflection. Finding all six can be tricky. Let's superimpose our cube again. We can see that our mirror plane bisects face diagonals of the cube. Let's draw a line in gold between the two atoms on that face diagonal. This is how we are going to identify and keep track of our six dihedral mirror planes. To find a second dihedral mirror plane, let's connect two more atoms the ones on the front face of the cube. This gives us the position of the edge of a second dihedral mirror plane. There is a dihedral mirror plane associated with each of the six faces of the cube in this way. You might need to pause the video, rewind it, and run it through a few times with the molecule model in your hand in order to convince yourself that you can see everything.
And that's it for the symmetry elements of the tetrahedral point group. Thanks for watching.